Welcome back to the Smoky Patio. Today, we're going to be smoking some beef short ribs. Uh, man, these are going to be good. Uh, I picked up some beef short ribs here at my local butcher. And uh, we're going to try a new season I hadn't tried before. It's made by Code 3 Spices. So we're going to fire up the Weber Smoky Mountain. We're going to be doing some uh, uh, mesquite wood today. So I'll bring you back when we're ready to rub these down. All right, y'all, welcome back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and rub these down. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce on all these. Um, put some Worcestershire sauce on it, coat them down real good, kind of a binder to let that rub stick to them. Really nice. We'll do a couple of these on video, then I'll shut it off and uh, do it off video and bring you back once we're ready to put them on the smoker. I want to wipe down all the sides, give it a good coating, give that rub something to stick to. I did pull off the membrane on these, uh, on the back of them. That beef membrane is pretty tough. So, okay, so we'll do those three, and then I'll do the rest of them off camera. So we're just going to give it a nice little coating, not real heavy. Um, that beef's going to have a lot of flavor with that mesquite wood on it. So we're just going to do a nice light coating all the way around. The seasoning's got a lot of hearty chunks in it there. It's not real fine on the ground. It smells good. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. Just gonna give them a nice liberal coating there. Make sure we get all the sides covered. We're going to go ahead and do the back, even though there's not really all the meats on the front, we're going to go ahead and do the backs. Each side. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these off camera. I'll bring you back once they're all done and, uh, Got the smoker up to town. Be back in a bit. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and dump this chimney of charcoals in the lump charcoal that I'm going to be using today. The lump hardwood. I'm going to be using lump hardwood, but this is going to start it up. So we'll go ahead and get that in there. I'm going to dump it right in the middle. We got. Uh, we're going to put four pieces of uh, some mesquite wood that I got here. Put four pieces on that. ahead and put this thing together let it come up temperature and then we'll bring you back once we put those beef short ribs on here all right all right we're gonna be cooking at 250 degrees today we're using some mesquite wood we're gonna be spritzing them down uh, probably after about two hours into the cook uh, we're gonna be using a mixture of apple cider vinegar and apple juice so bring it back once we throw these things on here. All right, y'all, we got these uh, short ribs rubbed down. Take a look at that new seasoning I'm giving a try out there. Lots of chunks in it, lots of chunks. Uh, smells great. Hopefully it tastes just as good as it smells. So uh, as soon as the Weber Smoky Mountain's up to temperature, I'll bring you out there as we put these on. All right, Charles, we are up to 10. We're running at 250. So we're gonna go ahead and put these beef short ribs on. They're looking good. I do have water in the water pan. Should be able to get all these on this top rack. Maneuver them around a little bit. Set that down. Oh yeah. 
Okay. We're going to cover those up and let them smoke. Okay, we'll let Smoker do its job. We'll come back to you in about two hours or so. We'll check on them. That'll probably be the time I start spritzing them. Um, I don't know yet if we're going to wrap them. I think we're just going to leave them naked the whole cook and, and just let it go, just like a brisket. Just just uh, let it get a nice bark on it. So we'll come back to you in about two hours. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're looking really good. Yeah, looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, get some juice and spritz these down, but uh, starting to get a nice color to them. I'm gonna get some juice. We're gonna spritz them down, cover them back up. Again, just using a mixture of apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Half a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar, one cup of apple juice. So. Just gonna spray them down real good. Keep them moist. Cover them up. We'll let those go for another 30 minutes. We'll bring them back and spritz it again. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these. It's been about another hour, so we're about three hours into the cook. Uh, I'm gonna take the temperature on these. See where we're at. Right at, uh, still going up. We're at uh, 155. Looks like starting to get some good bone pull back on that. Look at that. See that bone right there? Meat starting to pull back pretty good. A little close up there. See how those bones are pulling back off that meat? Looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and spritz it. Close it up. And let it work. Come back in about 30 minutes. Alright, hey y'all, we're back. We're uh, four hours into the cook now. And uh, look pretty good. Looking pretty good. Getting, getting a real nice bark on them. Real nice bark. Real good pullback on the bones. Right now they're about uh, 180. So another 20 degrees. I just spritzed them, so I'm going to put the cover back on, let it do its thing. But they're looking good. It smells great out here. Come back to you a little bit. Oh, they're looking really good. Looking really good. I don't know if you can see that. Let me give you a little shot here. That bone pulled back there. It is uh, really looking good. We'll go ahead and spritz them again. Cover them up. Let them do their thing. All right, y'all. These are done. We're going to bring them in, uh, wrap them in some foil, let them rest for 30, maybe 45 minutes, and after that, I'll show them to you. They look good. They're going to be good. See you in a bit. All right, hey guys, we're back. Took these uh, beef ribs off about 40 minutes ago, brought them in. They've been resting on the stove now, wrapped in foil, and uh, man, I'm happy with these. Take a look at these. Just look at, man, they are so tender. Literally just peeling away from the bone. Very, very pleased with them. Look at all the juice. Still very, very juicy. Go ahead and take a bite here. Look at that, just, just falling apart. Go ahead and give that a bite. Go ahead and give that a try.
Mm, that's good. Mm. And it's so juicy. Those are so good. Good flavor. I really like that rub. Mm. That's good stuff, folks. Hey, we're going to go ahead and eat dinner now. So, you know, give that give that uh, Code 3 Spices. That's the, the rub that I use today. Code 3 Spices. It's a local company. Uh, they use a portion of their... Uh, all the money that comes in from the sale of each bottle, some of it goes to uh, first responders. So you Give that a try. That's a great recipe there. Beef short ribs. That's what we did here today. Tastes great. Juicy. Uh, we didn't wrap them or anything like that. We just left them naked on the uh, grill all day. Took five hours for them to get done. Um, spritz them after two hours. We spritz them about every 30 minutes. So, uh, man, they're good. I'm going to go ahead and plate these up. Got some corn on the cob and some potatoes to go with these. I'll bring you a plate back and show you once we're done. But these are some good ones. I have to have some more. Mmm. good. All right, y'all. I wanted to bring back and talk to you a little bit about that Code 3 spices that we used today. Uh, we used their grunt rub today garlic based but man it was good on them beef ribs um, I like using local companies this is a local company in my area code 3 spices folks go check them out they got a lot of different award winning rubs um, I like this company uh, 50 cents of every bottle they sell goes towards uh, programs like backstoppers uh, to help our law enforcement emergency first responders military people so go check them out they got some great spices just go check them out code 3 spices Good stuff. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Go check out my channel. Subscribe while you're there. And share my videos with your friends and family. We'll see you next time.